What's up guys? So today I just want to show you real quick how to bleed your car, your 335, if you have an electric pump. Um, this is useful if you switch your coolant or you just repair something within the coolant system and you want to make sure there's no air in the system. So without further ado, let's get to it. So just disregard that noise over there, just my neighbor's doing some work and stuff. But yeah, so let's say we just um, repair something within the cooling system. And as you can see, what we did here was pretty much fill up the whole, the whole reservoir with water. And now we have to bleed the system, so there's no water definitely in the system. So first, to do that, you're going to need your key. And here inside the car, we go ahead and insert the key. We're going to turn on the ignition without pressing the brake. Going to put the heater to max, like so. Okay, take out your key. We're going to redo it again. But now, when we're doing this, we're going to press the accelerator to the max. So let's do that. Put the key in the ignition. Like so, leave it pressed for about 10 seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so as you can see, the system's now bleeding itself, and there's gonna be bubbles coming out and stuff. So you just leave it like that for about ten minutes, and it should be good after that. You could just cap it or and fill it up if it needs more, but just make sure that your battery is good. Uh, you don't want to obviously run out of battery during this process and yeah that's pretty much it i know there's some people also that go ahead and press on the and all these hoses that are coolant related because you can see once you press it some bubbles come out that's up to you if you want to do it that way but yeah pretty much just wait and you should be good to go